and welcome back to Let's Talk. We are heading out here to Mannheim now uh, to talk with the head wrestling coach here with the Barons. It is Billy Chamberlain, first year as a head coach here, having a great season. So why don't you tell me a little bit about kind of how you're feeling in your first go around here with the Barons? I'm feeling good. Um, I'm really enjoying, you know, being in the same program I've been with the last two years. The kids have really bought into the mentality we're pushing. Um, we've really adapted this uh, idea of honor, discipline, and family. Right, and so the family aspect is really big right now. Our numbers are up. We're looking around 32 kids on varsity, 28 in middle school, and you know, everybody just, it's a lot of excitement. You know, and it's been shown in our matches. Everybody's in it for everybody. Our tournament, you know, at our holiday tournament, everybody came out, we had a lot of fans there, and you know, it's awesome to be able to wrestle well in front of your home crowd. Yeah, it really seems like a, a good season, a good start to the season for you guys. Even, um, you know, in section two, a good win there right at, off the bat against Garden Spot. That had to kind of really give you guys a positive feeling heading, you know, first year as a head coach and starting the season, boom, right there, a pretty big win. Very much so. Garden Spot's a very tough team. You know, they're always ready to battle. They're always coming at you. And it's one of those great tests at the beginning of the year to know where you're at. And so we were very confident going in and we liked what we saw, but it let us, you know, have a lot of areas that we do need to keep working on and progressing so that, you know, our end goals will meet where we want to be. And we will get to those in just a minute. Also want to kind of talk about a really big moment for you, uh, the Mannheim Central Wrestling Holiday Tournament um, right after Christmas, right before the new year. It's been going on since, I didn't know this, 1970, I believe. I hope I have that right. You guys won the whole thing for the first time since that first time it was held, from what I heard. So how did that feel? And that's got to be a nice feather in your cap as a new head coach, right? It was awesome. <laughs> it was a very, it was a great experience to be part of. Um, our semifinal round, uh, the night before we pushed, uh, we had 10 semifinalists, we pushed eight into the finals. And then in the end, you know, we were able to show how much of a family effort it was by only winning by seven points. One person doesn't place where they, uh, where they did. If one person doesn't get a pin like they did, we're not bringing home the team title. And for the first one in 47 years, I was just proud to be part of that with these guys because they've been, they've been working hard and they earned it. And you know, it's as a staff, we just, we love to be able to sit back and watch them accomplish what they're able to. Yeah, it's pretty special, especially w with the teams that have been here in this, in this building and the, the wrestlers that have wrestled in the practice room for you guys to put it all together uh, since 1970. I just thought that was so impressive. Um, what, what was the feeling though when you had the eight guys in the finals, you throw your two studs out there, you win, but then all of a sudden not everybody else was kind of p taking home the top spot. Were you a little nervous or is that just something that you expect in a wrestling tournament? With individual tournaments, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. And so we saw the matchups in the finals. We knew we were going to have a lot of tough bouts. Um, we lost a couple close ones that we were hoping could have gone the other way, but again, even in losses, you learn stuff, and it's, it's a growing process. So we were glad we were able to pull it out. Um, after the 152 match was when we realized we had locked it up. So the other matches, were, we were able to relax a little more and enjoy them. Um, even though you know, we didn't get the finishes we liked, there was a lot of positives to be able to be seen. Yeah, that's the one thing about wrestling. Even though sometimes you don't get the wins, there is still a lot of learning that goes on. So uh, some things to take away as the season heads on. And, and, and really, by the end of this month, we're heading towards the league finals already. So you guys have a lot to work towards. But a cool uh, event coming up. Uh, on Saturday the 6th. Now by the time this airs it will have already happened you guys facing Cacalico but I want to just talk about it before you get to go into that. What are you expecting in that because honestly two of the best teams in the LL right now in my opinion. I'm expecting a war and uh, I hope my kids are ready to battle. You know I look at it as one big war but it's gonna be 14 battles throughout and so every kid needs to be able to ready to show up I know their fans are going to be there. I know their, their guys are going to be ready to go. Coach Fittery has done a great job with that program. And so as a staff, we believe that we can go in there and test them. And we think, you know, we could take it, but everything, you know, is going to have to come in line. It's got to fall right for you guys. You guys are section two. They made the move a couple years ago up to section one. Do you prefer having them in section one or would you rather have them in section two? What, what's the feeling on that? I'd rather have them on the uh, schedule every year. Okay. That's why we pick them back up. And, you know, uh, it's a mutual 
respect us and them. We, they both know we're going to challenge each other. We're going to fight each other. You know, we both want to be champions. Two years ago, they came here and they beat us. I think it was by three points. It came down to the last match right. that decided the section title. You know, we still remember that. We still <laughs> remember that it, they came here and we're able to do that. So we're hoping, you know, to be able to go there and sort of uh, return the favor. Yeah. We, we had that on TV, and it was really exciting. So I'm, I'm hoping everybody really enjoys what they see in that match. Uh, a couple end goals as the season, you know, uh, the leagues come up, and then obviously we get towards districts and states and all that stuff. What do you kind of discuss with your team, and what are you looking forward to potentially achieving? Honestly, I think we can accomplish big things this year. I think we have, as a team, we're finally getting our, uh, our weights where they need to be. You know, we're finding kids drop to certain weight classes. We're solidifying the lineup, so I do believe you know, we're a different team now than we were back in December at the early beginning of December. Um, I hope we can, you know, get the district duels and challenge some of the big dogs in the yeah. district. And individually, individually, I know as a team, you know, we just want to be able to go out there and compete. We want to do well at leagues. We're hoping to, you know, challenge for the top spot there. And we're trying to push as many kids as we can into districts and states. Yeah, and you have Will Betancourt coming back, a, a returning uh, district champion, which is a, a big thing. So obviously, probably hoping for big things from him, districts and states, I would assume. Oh, very much so. I think if Will, you know, keeps his head on straight and, you know, is trying to be a champion every day in the room, you know, he could be anywhere on the podium this year. Awesome. Uh, you talked a little bit about districts and the big dogs. Uh, you know a lot about that. and. Uh, I know a lot about that, and what you don't know is this is this is a, a big step for me in my uh, high school fandom because you are a Cumberland Valley graduate, right? Yes. I am a Central Dolphin graduate, so this is hard for us to stand next to each other right now, and we got through this conversation. Very nice. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, there's still probably a little bit in your heart whenever you see Cumberland Valley how they're doing. Potentially, Mannheim could meet up with them, I would assume, in districts, right? Very much so, and you know, I think. I think the goal of anyone that, you know, wrestled somewhere and coached somewhere and goes somewhere else is you want to beat that team, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, anything can happen, but I would, I just try to stress to my kids, every day we need to be a champion. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. We got through that as friends. <laughs> no, uh, no fist to cuffs and uh, good luck with everything. We're really looking forward to following you guys and, and we will see you at the Giants Center uh, in some way, shape or form, depending on how many guys are there. But thank you for very, very thank much you. for coming on. Appreciate it. All right.